but if you're a mechanic there and you have bmw failure to start make sure you contact mugalu the car guy made in germany das war mal ein begriff die welt hat uns bewundert für unsere produkte für unseren für unseren erfindungsreichtum die natürlich entsteht entspringt aus einem vernünftigen bildungssystem Yes, the name is Mugalu the car guy. Today we are on a BMW. We help you to check whether the computer, that is the DME, the cars, that is the key access system, then the control unit for the fuse box and the key. So we check these three guys, the security or the immobilizer system which is right about here which is called the CAS, the key and the dme or you can call it the digital motor electronics if they are in the good synchronization to make sure that your bmw starts so we have already this set that has been sent by our guys from Yanama that their bmw has failed to start so we're going to test them we can either test them on a bench or we test them on a live car which is starting so right now we have a live car which is starting and i'm going to start it for you these are the ones which i'm going to test on this live car i put it them here and this is the key for this bmw which i'm going to be starting inside the key in the switch so it has finally started and now we are going to test these security or which enable the BMW So don't hesitate to think that that will be by the normal BMW since then I did and I let it play for sure. So now as we said that we are going to change how to test this DME with the cars that's the key access system which is the security of the E90 BMW or we can call it the immobilizer system. So this is um, where the computer or the DME, which is um, NSV80.0. This is where the computer is located. So we flip here. Also, we flip also here. Access the DME. That's the digital motor electronic. And then you have to slide here and here to lock unlock so we have to unlock of course to do serious work uh, we need um to remove this for unit this for unit which is connected from this side on the other side then we connect this dme after we're going to connect this um pass which is the key access system which is right about here and it is located here down that's where it's located so we put it out from the yeah then we check also the guy provided us with this fuse box control unit and um we have connected it so the so the cast has been removed and we have installed the cast which we have gotten from a mechanic who needs to find his car if it is starting or not. So now we remove the DME which is the digital motor electronics and we are swapping it with the one which we are going to replace. So now the DME is almost out which we are going to replace with this other one. We expect that is the one which is functioning which is here so swap this
So with the DMP on, and uh, of course we are going to neglect using this key. We are going to use this key, which is of the, the other computer we have installed, and the CAS, which is the car access system, which is right about here. One, this one, with the other one we've left it on board. So, whew, let's fix well, then start the car and see if it will start with this SAS species for the specimen um, DMS. Starting here with the computer connected. <laughs> We start, and it's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. We're ignoring this one. We're using this one to see if this car can start. Ignition on, not there. You can see the accessories. Ignition is not there. So let me step on the brake and I tend to start. You see. So now the ignition comes on and off, but later we manage to make sure that power stabilization there and now it tends to start but does not start with the new set of the ignition key and the CAS, car access system and the DME. So we're going to go to the bench and we blow up which is the faulty piece on this vehicle but remember we have brought this to show you that we can do it and for the laboratory set we are going to roll out if it's the key the dme or the car access system and now the mechanic will be able and in position to tell if it is the key or any of the system or it is on the car so if we find out a hundred percent that it's the key or the dme or the cars or the gateway for the the gateway for the fuse box the mechanic will be in very very good state to make sure that he checks the wiring of his bmw so the moment of truth this is the key or the remote key fob for this e90 and um the one we have put on this car remember we started this car and it started very well with um our original computer the dme and the key and the cars which is installed we started it very very well and the car started but now when we connected uh, uh, another control module or the computer which is connected right about there we have just showed and we used this key you see switch is on so though we have low battery but we have managed to identify that the problem is lying on the security system of this vehicle to start so the mechanic is now aware that the problem is not on the car the problem is on his starting security system which includes this key and the digital motor electronics and uh, the cars the car access system so they are not in synchronization which we need to be doing for him so we are going to call the mechanic and tell him you know what your things are not working you need the resynchronization of the DME, the key, and the CAS, that is the key access system of this BMW. Thank you for subscribing and following us always. And uh, don't forget, we fix BMW Mercedes Benz hybrid and electric vehicles. So let's reverse this and we fix this together we out hey don't cut out the video so we are in the laboratory synchronizing the key the dme the fuse box gateway and the car system but we are not releasing this video so we out thank you